I'm talking a long time for this. Anyway, let's get to it. Hey, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is a place where I experiment with uh, light photography, videography, and sometimes it's really controlled. So in the last video, link up here or here or somewhere, maybe it's down in the description, it doesn't matter. The link is around somewhere. Um, we modified a servo in a fashion that it's done. It will only ever rotate continuously um, now you can't use it for anything else but continuous rotation which is fine they're really really cheap servos the HS311 um, as of publishing this video today is like $15 if you need a new servo go get one the gear set is like I don't know six dollars so that's half the price of a servo uh, long story short I showed that video to one of my coworkers. My coworker said, why didn't you just drill out the output gear? And from one of more expensive servos, that's a great idea. Is if you have a higher torque servo that maybe someday might go back into a vehicle or an airplane, um, just get a new gear set and you're done. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna modify another HS311 servo so that it can be restored back to uh, a servo format. All right. Um, just to, here we go. So this is what you're gonna need for this modification. Screwdriver, hot glue gun, a pair of side snips, an X-Acto knife, a file. So we're just gonna quickly get into the servo here just by removing the servo arm. And I'm not gonna go into the complete teardown because we're gonna retain this servo in its case. So we're not gonna need to take out the, um, the motor or the circuit board. It's really just five screws, four on the bottom, one on the top. Right, once we get the top case off, we can see the gear train. And the output shaft, right here, the uh, plastic bushing came out with it, so I'll stick that back in later. We need to take this notch off, so we'll either file it or clip it off. And that little notch that we need to cut off catches on these two little plastic parts inside the top case. The left and right limitation is stopped right there and right there. Here's a look at your gear set before we take anything apart. We only need to take these two gears off over here. The middle one here, and they just slide off. With that off, the potentiometer isn't turning. The whole gear train will continuously turn trying to get that potentiometer back to the zero or the neutral point. So pop that off, and here's the shaft that goes down to the potentiometer and what we're going to do is keep this from moving so we put this back to the zero point you can see that the gear train stops which is exactly where we're going to hold it so we're going to glue it there with some hot glue what i need to do is get this glue to go down inside next to this uh, this shaft it can't sit on the outside because the servo the output gear has to go back on so I'm going to push it down inside here. There we go. You can see as I'm working the glue down into the into the shaft that the the gears aren't quite centered. And we can make up for something that's a little bit off center um, just by adjusting the radio trim or however you're controlling your servo. So we have to clean up all of this glue that's around where the uh, output gear sh where the output gear sits on top of this. And I'm just going to cut away uh, any of the glue that's still sitting where the output gear needs to sit. Okay, that's good. So the next thing that we have to do is clear out the middle of the output gear. Um, this particular gear is going to use a 732nd drill bit to uh, hollow out the, uh, the center. So by drilling out this gear and not modifying the potentiometer, this means all we need to do to get things back 
into a working servo um, is just replace a gear set. So this one gear just needs replaced and it's fine again. It'll just do its um, limited range. Okay, now that this is all cleaned out in here. Now it didn't drill all the way through, but now it's cleaned out. We got to deal with the little tab that limits the rotation. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to go at it with these side cutters first just to take the majority of the material off and uh, just clean it up a little bit with uh, a file. It seemed to have pretty much come off fairly clean so I don't require a lot of filing here. Alright so that's all cleaned up now. Uh, we've got a nice flat top surface to work with. I've cleaned up all the little bits that are in the gear as best I could. Alright, I'm going to fit the output gear uh, back onto the little carrier bearing there. And it seems to be a, a little tight, so I'm going to have to clean up that hot glue a little bit more. There we go. That's moving a lot easier now. Alright, so we'll put this gear train back together now. And this, service, this gear just drops in like that. And there it is, continuously rotating. I just use the radio now and I can go in either direction. And here we go. Um, servo on the left is the uh, the originally modified servo on the right is a newly modified and uh, I'm using a, a DX8 to control these so they're a two stick aircraft radio so full forward and then full backwards so uh, I mean you can make a vehicle out of this you could all do all kinds of things um, so uh, yeah leave a comment in um, just leaving a comment or a message below and let me know what you use these this uh, these servos for and could be good for robots or something like that uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.